some more YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got part two of my iForm wing. Uh, this one here is out of the Eagles playbook. Uh, like I said in the past, I'm doing the Eagles playbook because I just wanted to do, um, you know, some of the really great run plays. This is by far the best running playbook that I found. If you guys have a different book in mind that you think is something you're, that's your go-to run book, the only other one I could think of, maybe the Browns would be a, t a, a book that I would say would compete uh, because they have some really good wildcat formations that the Eagles don't have. But this playbook alone here has some of the best run formations. I put out plays out of the single back bunch uh, that are really good. Uh, the wing, like I said, I'm showing you now. Uh, there's one out of the uh, ace Y, or sorry, the deuce Y flex that I put out at the beginning of the season that is just such an explosive play. Um, and the deuce close has got some of the best pro concepts that uh, they, they love to use. Ace slot's got some decent ones. I wish it had the toss. Uh, that's in the Packers playbook or the uh, Vikings playbook has a really great toss play uh, that this one doesn't have. But otherwise, if it had that, I mean, it'd just be outstanding. There's a few plays, um, you know, that I wish it had. But uh, for the most part, this one here, if you're a run first guy, this is the book to use. Um, so like I said, I'm thinking about doing a, uh, a, uh, an ebook out of this. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, this is part two. There is no part three. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll go into the uh, the next series of plays i really like to start off with a pass play this one right here is a really adjustable pass play um that plays really well off of the motions that i made in the first video uh, as far as uh for the run plays we're gonna go with the pa power o and i'll show you some really good uh setups for that yeah this um this motion here that i'm gonna make with Selic is uh it's gonna first of all it's gonna make the play look like your traditional power o uh which is something that you can find in a lot of playbooks i mean sometimes sometimes those power o's have the uh the square route coming back like this um but either way it's just your traditional power out nothing too exotic but what makes it work so well um in this particular set is a lot of the run plays i've either shown or going to show in the future have this exact same motion so basically what this is going to do is it's going to uniform the plays your opponent's going to think that you're running the ball again uh they're probably going to be playing down the box probably outside and then you can catch them with this really good uh play action play catch them off guard i mean there's a couple of different routes here that are open the uh, the tight end if it's man if it's low the fullback for a zone yeah a lot of people aren't necessarily going to be playing hard flats against us either typically if this somebody running a cover two against you uh burton's going to be a really good um option because it'll probably be left alone by everybody getting pulled back in the zones but if you're running the ball successfully they might be playing hard flats and that might leave Ertz open quite a bit another good look um, this is optional. You can do this one of two ways is motioning in Jeffrey. Now this looks like a cover three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put circle on a streak again, and then I'm going to motion in Jeffrey and you're going to see how him and Salik are both really good coverage zone beaters right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna run this, uh, there. I'm just going to wait for him to cross. Uh, hopefully he hangs on. He kind of got hit a little bit. That was some good coverage, but so in any cover two, or uh, cover three, or I'm sorry, any cover three, or sometimes even cover two. Uh, Jeffries are a really good one, and uh, here I'll do it again. I look like it like, might have been a man. I'm not sure what that was because I threw it so quick, but it just moving him in makes him really good position. Um, if you leave Jeffrey outside, though, he's pretty good uh, for a deep cover two beater. Um, or, you know, he's also, uh, I mean, if moving him in for cover three, leaving him outside for cover two would probably be the best way that I would say it. Uh, this here looks like. I'm not even sure, but I'm trying to lead him when we get a touchdown. Nice. I think that was a cover one, but I'm not sure. But uh, there is some benefits to leaving him outside where he is. So um, I would say Selleck is probably the best motion. He, Selleck is just there to pull coverage too, by the way. He's not really um, meant to do anything else. That was a cover four. We got a nice cover four beater there. Now, I also want to point out, you see how the guard is pulling? That's why I'm sidestepping quite a bit. Um, just to not give a free lane uh, the running back on the play action typically takes that uh, takes care of that uh, But I want him to stay in that position. Here's another cover four as we're dotting him to the to the sideline um, But yeah, that running back is really meant to pick that up. So make sure you sidestep that so you're not giving uh, Leverage to that defensive player. You really want to sidestep out. He wasn't really there there So I'm gonna go ahead and go to that to the underneath route um, this underneath route. I mean it doesn't look sexy, but it's a good play Nice 10 yard play. I'll take that, you know, all game. So, so I'll continue to run this. I'm going to continue to sidestep the pressure here. And we're getting some more. Um, actually, pass like that outside. It might have been a good play on the ball by the defender there. But yeah, they're sending some up the middle blitzes here. So, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to keep doing this. I probably should motion in Jeffrey a lot. I like Jeffrey. He's a quicker play than anybody else. And we're going to go ahead and hit Ertz. Pass leading outside pretty much every time. If you guys don't know how to pass Lee, you just basically direction uh, with the left stick while throwing. 
Um, I actually, like I said, I want to hit this other guy real quick. I want to reset that. I want to motion in Jeffrey quite a bit. This looks like it's probably a cover two, almost like a cover two hard flat. Uh, but you can see he's got inside position. So as long as he has inside position, uh, he should be good. That's all I want, you know what I mean, from Jeffrey. If he has inside position, he's going to be uh, open pretty much every time. Regardless of coverage, regardless. You know, I know I said cover three because cover three, he's going to have a much easier time. But um, like, he, but anytime he's got inside position, just as long as they throw it before he gets into the middle linebacker, um, there's going to be a window when he makes his break. If I cancel this play action pretty quick, there's going to be a window right there. Like I said, that was a cover two. Cover two, cover three, it doesn't matter. Um, you know, moving him inside makes him open pretty much every time. Unless the user, the user could always jump that. You know what I mean? You got to pay attention to where the user's position. But uh, obviously your first reads, uh, for the most part, are going to be Ertz and Burton. And then uh, Jeffrey is probably your last, is your third read. So we'll go ahead and move on. So something like a simple motion just makes that whole play. Uh, we'll do another play action. Everything in here is pretty much a play action. I mean, they have like the X slant. Uh, which you know that's that's the same adjustment. I'll go ahead and I'll pick that real quick just to show you real quick. But that's the same adjustment. Moving him in um, is probably uh, is probably advantageous. I don't think any of these other routes are really that great. Um, but this is like a really good option for like a goal line. Is just move him in and he's going to be open. Like if you're within the five, and I'll go ahead and I'll try to try to recreate that. We'll go ahead and move the ball up. Um, but this is just a really good score concept from like the five and in. You know, he, he's, he's, I mean, these slants are pretty good outside, but you can see how when he's outside, it takes a lot longer to get across that guy right there. So we'll go ahead and we'll move him in and we'll, I'll show you. I mean, we got a guy dropping down, so he might get in the pass lane, but um, we'll move him in. He just gets across that much quicker and he's just open. So, but that's not the point. I'm, I don't want to show this play too much. Um, I'll do it once more just to show consistency though. Um, and then Earth is not too bad. I mean, in a goal line play, you can see I took away the play or the uh, the running back because it's not really something that I want to do too much with. But you can just see he's got that gap right there. I'm not sure if you hang on to it. That was a weird. Uh, <laughs> Should have hang on to it, but it's whatever. So we'll go ahead and move on. I didn't really want to put too much time into that particular play. I just wanted to show how that works. So we'll go ahead. Oh man, I don't even remember what formation I'm in. So, but the next play I did want to show um, is the uh, PA experts cross. This is a really good concept. Go ahead and we'll pick that. Now I did something in the last video with a deep crossing uh, tight end kind of setup. Um, it's really all this has. I mean, this this playbook really only has two tight ends. Uh, Jeffrey here, I don't think he's much worth anything. If you want, you can just put him on a streak. I think if anything, you could put him on a comeback, um, and that's not too bad. Uh, but you could probably just leave him doing what he's doing. The other adjustment that I think is essential is putting Ertz here into a drag, and now you have that three-level passing system, uh, which to me is really a good way to go. And uh, I hit the triangle there. He was so close to the sideline, it messed me up a little bit. You can also motion over Selleck here, but he's such a poor receiving option that I don't think he's still going to. I don't think he's going to get open too much because he's so slow. Um, he's essentially just a blocking back. Uh, but you still have that three level of passing right there um, as I choose to try and go out. He's the, the least covered on that one. But um, you can use, I mean, some of the running plays, you can motion select to disguise it. I didn't go over that too much because I don't think it's really necessary. But um, like I said, he's just not a really good receiver. He's too slow. There he possession catches it. But if I had somebody faster, it'd be better. Um, but either way, I like it just like this. I mean, the, the triangle route pulled back enough. Uh, the circle route is the man. That's bad. I don't know. Carson Wentz, he throws some bad balls sometimes. I don't know. I mean, he's not. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm an Eagle fan. He's not the most accurate. I'm, throw, I'm passing that up, by the way, uh, for a ticket burden open. That's a good way to go. Um, but, yeah, Wentz, he's not the most accurate. Uh, I got to be I gotta be real about it. Like I said, this this triangle route, it's just like a deeper. Like in a lot of a lot of uh, play actions, he, he goes um, kind of out to the flat. But for whatever reason, the triangle route is going deeper than um than the the, uh, the x route a lot of times and pass leading him up is really beneficial too so keep that in mind i would like to get um Selleck here a nice deep sideline play with this with this motion but i don't know if i'm gonna get it so here we're gonna actually cut that route off short you can do that with jeffrey too throw to him before he makes his break I'd much rather have Burton doing Selleck's route, but he's the fullback, so not a lot I could do. So here we go. Like I said, I'm past leading up. He's just getting he's getting that position pretty much every time. Another thing you can do is you can put Selleck on a streak. Like this looks like a cover three. So I'll do that. And I'm gonna pass lead him inside. That was bad footwork by me. I threw a little bit quick. I thought I canceled the play action, but it's still a good play. But if you think it's a cover three, putting Ertz on a streak. Uh, we'll get open right up that cover three seam. I'll try to see if I can find another cover three here real quick to redo that because my footwork was phenomenal. Um, there, I mean, that cornerback is coming off of that pretty good. 
So here it looks like we got another cover three. Put him on a streak. Cancel the play action a little bit quicker than I did last time. <clears throat> Pass lead him inside. And you can see how he's a really good cover three play. <clears throat> so this has a, this this formation has a lot of cover three plays just because of the two tight ends being where they are um, is really uh, is really a good spot. So let's go ahead and move on. Just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.